Hello, Jared here, and I'm back. And boy, has it been a while. Uh, I know I released the Anyone Can Improve Part 2 video a couple months ago, I believe. But the last update for the comic was, oh man, before Christmas, I think. Uh, last time I updated that, I said I had about 20 pages done. And now that we're into the middle of May, back half of May, uh, I've got about 15 more. <laughs> so I got 35 pages locked and loaded, ready for release. Uh, to be fair, the 20 pages I had before weren't actually completely done. There was a lot of little things I had to do. There was lettering involved and a bunch of other stuff. But uh, I've noticed there has been a little bit more delay with some of these last 15 pages because the amount of work that I'm putting into the pages now is inevitably growing because I'm wanting a little bit more quality, a little bit more detail, blah, 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 blah. But I also took about a month off around the holiday season. So it's been about eight months in order to get 35 pages done. So that's between an average of five to six pages a month, which I still think is pretty healthy. Uh, but there's also a couple other things that factor into that. And I want to talk about those in this video. So as many people know, uh, I had a writer um, who is also my brother-in-law, and he had been helping me work on the script uh, since this project began. We had discussed it back in 2015 and started working on it uh, throughout that time. Um, but I will say, not to make it you know, too long of a story, but um, there were definitely some speed bumps and some hurdles uh, that we endured over the last year or two. And to make a long story short, I realized that it wasn't working out. And uh, we had a discussion about it, and it was a bit mutual, in fact, because he had mentioned that, you know, I seem to know what I already want, and he felt a lot of pressure uh, in what he would write for. But there were a lot of other factors involved, too, that I could get into, but I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> go down that dark road. Uh, so long story short, I'm doing the writing now, and honestly, I think it's working out a lot better, and I feel better about that. So now I have pretty much 100% control of this project. Um, not that I didn't have 100% control, but I completely got control. And um, as soon as we made that decision, I realized what I needed to do. Um, I got to work on writing the script, and that was a whole lot of fun. And I plugged away and plugged and plugged and plugged. And I gave myself many, 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 many more pages of script uh, in order to work through. Now, granted, I'm not a professional writer. I don't consider myself a professional writer. But I know that there are a lot of things that you have to watch out for when you're writing for a, a script. So I'm doing the best I can as someone that's never done that before. Um, I do still refer to other people and questions. My, my brother-in-law can still act as kind of a shoulder to lean on and maybe an editor. So he'll take a look at my work and tell me if anything's off, which is great. But I've got the reins and uh, this is my baby now. <laughs> um, but aside from that, so, so the part of the reason that I had a delay of uh, like, it feels like 15 pages in the last five months or since Christmas, it seems a little under the, I guess, the goal that I was going for. Not only was it just because the work was increasing, like the workload and the amount that I was putting into these pages. But again, there were a lot of delays with the script before this. And there were times when I was one or two weeks out of work because my, you know, my writer didn't have anything locked for me yet. And that was what led to our decision. So now that I have those reins, I have written a whole bunch of script. Um, I'm nearly about... I've got about 70, 60 to 70 pages worth of drawing that I believe, like 70 pages of the comic. I have so much script that it would fill up that much. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm trying to keep everything cohesive, keep everything moving along. And uh, I hope that it shows to be a fun little adventure. <laughs> but I have a lot of... Uh, cool ideas that I, I hope that people enjoy reading in the next coming year or two. I know I'm speaking a long time out front, but um, it's all there. It's in that script, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. And there's going to be some pretty cool things I can't wait to do that are going to happen this year. So uh, I hope that people can get a little excited about that.
As far as a release date, I realized for a while, I told people and I advertised that I was trying to get this comic out by quarter one of 2017. And here's the thing, I could have done that, but <laughs> the problem was I wouldn't have had much of a buffer to work with and it would have created a lot of issues for me. And uh, what I've realized, my goal, my personal goal, is that I'm aiming for 50 to 60 finished pages before I get this thing released. 60 is my wishful goal, but I realize that is a really tall order. Because um, what I want to do is I'm, I've announced that I'm going to get this out. I want to release this quarter three of this year. So this fall, uh, beginning of the fall, mid-fall. Uh, but I really want to get it out by the end of September. If it goes into the very beginning of October, okay. But end of September is really my target date. Um, I'd be willing to release it at 50 pages, but that means that I release less pages on launch day. Because um, that's the whole point. Because I really want to release... On release day, I'm I'm my goal is to get like the first 19 pages, 18 to 20 pages on day one, so people can really you know dig deep into it and whet their appetite, and actually get a little bit of story. Because if I started out with just one page on day one, I mean you'll read it and then you'll forget about it two seconds later. So I I really want to give people almost nearly a comic book's worth issue on day one. Uh, I think that'll benefit everyone. <laughs> And uh, it'll give you a reason to hopefully come back as long as you think it's not terrible. <laughs> so as usual in these update videos, I'll go ahead and throw up a few pages of the comic. Uh, one thing that happened is when I took over the script, I wrote a big section for some characters of mine, Ivan and Lily. And I was trying to figure out where to put that into the timeline because I, I want everything to move as linear as possible. I don't like to do the three weeks earlier type crap <laughs> if, if I can avoid it. Um, I don't want to time travel around the plot too much. Uh, so when I did that, I realized, oh, but this would work really well if it goes into this part of the story. And so what I've done is I've actually took about nine pages and put it before seven pages I did before that. So it's kind of funny because to my eye, I see a quality increase during those nine pages I did. And then you get to the seven pages after that. And I think there's a little bit of a visual drop off. Granted, the scenes and characters and everything is completely different. But as far as the art evolution, you actually see it backtrack a little bit if you have an artist's eye. Um, most people probably won't see it at all and won't care. But this is just my personal perspective as an artist. So not to make this video too much longer, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, I'm going to be working over the summer. My goal, at least another 15 pages, <laughs> at least. So that puts me at 50. Um, man, 25 pages between now and the end of September. Oof. Yeesh. That's, that's brutal. I, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to hit that, but I will certainly try. Uh, but here's hoping. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out cashmeresky.com in the links below. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.